Bob Dole lost a lot on that Italian battlefield in 1945, left permanently scarred and partially paralyzed, and with the kind of memories that don't go away. My radio man had, was ahead of me, and he had been wounded, and I crawled out trying to get, get him back in the little ravine, and I got shot, and he didn't make it. He passed away. So I tried, but I couldn't save him. But in loss, Dole gained a purpose that animated him long after his decades in Congress and those celebrated runs for president. Pleased to meet you, sir. Ah, and what war were you in? It was greeting fellow veterans at the National World War II Memorial. It's where I met up with him in 2018 for one of his last interviews. And you come here pretty much every Saturday. Yeah, I've been doing it for about eight years. And I met thousands of veterans. Dole was a major force in making the memorial possible, helping to spearhead funding. A soldier soldier who refused to put an expiration date on public service. Above all, I care about people. And I guess I've sort of latched on to the veterans as a little public service I can still do. He could be partisan but also remembered tonight as a force of civility. In a statement, President Biden called him a friend whom I could look to for trusted guidance or a humorous line at just the right moment to settle frayed nerves. The last time we saw Bob Dole publicly, he was struggling to his feet to salute the casket of one-time political rival and World War II vet, George H.W. Bush. Do you miss politics? Uh, some. It's so polarized today. When I was there, yeah, we got along fine. Bob Dole was part of a now dwindling generation. Most World War II vets are either too ill to come or they're just not there anymore. A grateful public servant until the end. I've had a great life. I mean, I had a lot of problems, but despite some of the problems, I've had a good life. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.